to St. Luke's. The service will begin shortly. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Spirit of God, unseen as the wind, gentle as is the dove, teach us the truth and help us believe, show us the Saviour's love. You spoke to us long, long ago, gave us the written word. We read it still, needing its truth, through it God's voice is heard. Spirit of God, unseen as the wind, gentle as is the dove. Teach us the truth and help us believe, show us the Saviour's love. Without your help, we fail our Lord, we cannot live his way. We need your power, we need your strength, following Christ each day. Spirit of God, unseen as the wind, gentle as is the dove, teach us the truth and help us believe, show us the Saviour's love. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. When the day of the Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Sud suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel according to John chapter 20. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, 
peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Collect for Pentecost Holy Spirit, sent by the Father, ignite in us your holy fire. Strengthen your children with the gift of faith. Revive your church with the breath of love and renew the face of the earth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the silences we offer our thoughts and prayers for all people of faith and their leaders as they hold each other and all the world in the presence of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all with authority, power and influence as they recognise the limits of their actions and intentions and struggle to do what is good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all our communities, international, multinational, national and local, as they respond to the pressing needs of the times and hold their hopes and fears in balance and seek to do what is necessary. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our families, friends and neighbours, who we cannot hold, hug or comfort, except remotely and inadequately, as we long for liberation and the chance to make better what once we had. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those in the public services, cleaners and drivers, shop assistants and shelf stackers, care assistants and managers, nurses and doctors, teachers and school staff, as they show sacrificial love in action. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for ourselves, and in the silence, we focus on our own petitions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Faithful God, who fulfilled the promises of Easter by sending us your Holy Spirit and opening to every race and nation the way of life eternal, open our lips by your Spirit, that every tongue may tell of your glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may find comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Thank you for coming. Please add a comment below to let me know you are here. If you don't mind sharing your name and where you're watching from, please do. Please also tell me if you have any requests for things to include in future services 
or if you'd like to volunteer to record a prayer or a reading, or perhaps a hymn. I hope you enjoyed coming to our virtual service. I'll be back next Sunday at the same time, 9.30. I hope you'll be here too.